guys, what is up? It is Pizza of Prestige again with Planet Coaster. This is episode 6. It was delayed a little bit, but basically, uh, here it is. Now, this is episode 6 of Building Prestige Heights in Planet Coaster, and I'm pretty excited for this episode. I actually recorded it twice because the first time my fraps didn't actually record it well. It, it just gave out this weird file that was really small and it wasn't the real video. It was just the main menu of the game, which I thought was very odd. Um, but basically, in this episode, we're going to be theming a bit and we're going to work on the thrill zone area in the back. Um, what I'm doing here right now is actually creating some sort of an archway that leads into the back area of the thrill zone, basically. And I tried to make it as complex as possible while still still keeping it structural uh, because I really like I really like structures. I really like to see steel structures and concrete structures inside of theme parks. Basically, I really think it's interesting uh, since most theme parks actually like try to hide such things uh, with just architectural stuff. And right here, I'm trying to combine the two, so I'm trying to make it look good while also really focusing on keeping it structurally sound. And that's why I use these like girder stuff. Uh, the steel beams inside of this white wall structure. I could have just, you know, gone with like the white columns, but I think the black uh, steel beams actually really finish this. The diagonals, uh, they look very nice. So basically, uh, this area is going to actually connect, well, this path basically in this area, it's going to connect to the path in the end where the coaster basically is I, I'm saying basically too many times uh, but basically it's gonna be connecting it's gonna be kind of a, uh, a circle path with in the middle a flat ride and I'm not sure well I'm actually kind of sure what the flat ride is gonna be it's gonna be I think it's actually the biggest one I didn't really put I didn't want to put like the the big ones up uh, because what I really don't like is the flat rides in Planet Coaster their footprint is very big and you can't place anything inside of the footprint of course um, but it makes it just kind of easy uh, well actually it makes it harder to theme the ride because you have to build totally around it and it's kind of a challenge and I didn't really want to do like a big flat ride but in the end I actually decided to grab the biggest you know just go for it if we're gonna do it we're gonna do it big uh, so you can see that in a couple of seconds now right here just adding some more foliage I also added that red flower hedge right there uh, with a little wall it's just decorative you know to fill up the empty space I don't want it to be like a ride and then just a simple path and then the next ride I wanted to you know the paths that I want them to have an experience too. the people that are walking along the paths and I think flowers is a great way to kind of give off a, a, like a vibe you know flowers <laughs> lanterns and walls that's basically all you need and um, yeah, I'm really happy with it now I do think it's kind of monotone what I do have going on uh, with the like the ticket booths right now I might try to um, hide them up basically with building structures I haven't thought about this a lot um, but I think actually that's that's a pretty cool idea I'm gonna experiment with that a little bit you know try to make some kind of a structure that would hide the original ticket booth the yellow arch um, and kind of create something that's a little more realistic. Now here you can see I'm, I'm trying to look for a flat right to place and I decided to go with this one and I'm kind of I'm kind of really happy with it you know it's a um, it's called a genie and it's kind of the I think is it the chaos from Rollercoaster Tekken 3? I'm not sure if this is the, no I think the chaos is actually the one um, with a disc spinning on the end of an arm but something like that um, I'm not really sure what it's called Please remind me. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm just connecting up the two paths right here. Um, I didn't want to really connect them in a like in a style that is a um, a continuous path. I kind of wanted it to be a T junction, and I wanted you know the bottom part of the T basically to come to the area because I want this to be a side area. It, do it doesn't really have to be the main area, and the main path is gonna go on straight while it has a branch that goes off into this area. That's basically what I was trying to go with. And here you can see I'm, I'm trying to theme. Uh, the building basically the station building for this ride and I'm you know I stick to the wavy pattern in the wall in the roofs I really like the way that actually works out with every single building now what I first did is kind of make the the rough cut building that I wanted and then deleted the original uh, roof that I placed on it so that I can add some interior work now I didn't really want to do any big interiors because of course it's a queue line uh, but I did actually want to place, you know, some uh, some beams and some columns and it's actually these pipes right here, the steel pipes, they worked out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how, how they look uh, on the inside. And I also wanted to do some, uh, basically some curved beams on the, um, 
on the inside that you can actually see underneath the roof and I think that looks very nice you know you can actually use these roof trims underneath the roof as well and it kind of it kind of works and yeah it's just I think it's amazing you know the the way that you can use the different objects in this game to basically create new uh, geometric shapes and also make them connect to each other because everything sort of works out it, it just connects to each other and it's very nice it also doesn't really glitch and you know in rollercoaster tycoon 3 you had this problem where you used custom scenery and sometimes the like it would be really annoying if the textures actually overlap and then it would flicker a little bit and in this game even though you place things inside of each other you can still kind of move them around a little bit in the depth uh, why you know you can't really see the difference between how far the object is but one is like a millimeter further and the texture doesn't glitch so you can actually place like walls inside of each other without having the sides flicker all the time and I'm you know I'm, I'm really excited about that now it's pretty hard to design a theme that will go with such a big ride and I thought like you know what I just gotta fill up the space and that's pretty much what I was doing here but I decided to go with this raised platform basically and uh, then I'm gonna lay with um, some fences on there but basically this this area right here I'm not sure what it will do yet but it, it you know in the end it, it's gonna do something uh, it's gonna have I'm not sure what it will have but it's gonna have something uh, on there actually as scenery now adding some planters I really want to make this park look full like it is actually finished and that's why you know all these little nooks and crannies right here uh, that you get you know the in the little junctions in the actual path I kind of want to fill them up and the way I fill them up is with buildings and little stalls and right here I actually added a little chief beef which I think looks very nice uh, in the end the building it's basically just you know these two walls that are curved upwards and then a flat roof on the top with some signs on there and in the end it really works out I really like the music that they actually play in those uh, cafes basically in the stall itself uh, it's basically the I think it's sort of a cover of the in-game menu music and I think you know the music in this game uh, there's not a lot of it but it's <laughs> I gotta say from what I've heard uh, like until now it is very good now adding these spotlights I really you know I actually found out that <laughs> you can place them on any surface you, you want you can even place them upside down but the way that they work is you can just point it at anything it doesn't have to be at the building they're actually in uh, so it's I try to you know light up the station building and also uh, the ramp on the end of this uh, flat ride basically and I think it, in the end it kind of worked out and I'm really happy with the way this area right now is uh, is turning out now here trying to do something experimental I tried to make a roller coaster kind of um, artwork somehow with the roof trims and I think this actually worked out great now it does really fit the theme right here with the um, the genie ride which basically goes over a wavy pattern in a back and forward motion uh, while spinning and this kind of I don't know it, it kind of portrays that you know that motion that fluid motion that you go up and down it's <laughs> I, really, I really like the way that it you know um, it stands out a little bit you know it, it also covers up the ugliness of the ride itself because I really don't like you know the the big uh, sign on the side of the uh, ride but it kind of you know it covers it up but it also exaggerates the feeling that you get from this area and there's gonna be more flat rides in here there's also gonna be more structures so you can go ahead and basically get excited for that for next episode because it's gonna be then uh, that we actually expand this area but for now i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace from pieces of prestige